now we can speak <coughs> Today's topic uh, is pneumonia, which is a very commonly asked question for you. So, definition of pneumonia is uh, an acute inflammation of alveoli with radiological opacities, either patchy or low bar or multi low bar. The pneumonia community acquired hospital acquired or an immunocom in a, an immunocompromised host the pneumonia is a radiological or pathological homogeneous opacities in chest x-ray in lung lobes bronchopneumonia refers to more patchy consolidation alveolar that is bronchiolar inflammation often affects both lower lobes that is bronchopneumonia the community acquired pneumonia it is very common the co very commonly asked question it's a 5 per 1000 who suffer from infection for each year that is CAP community acquired pneumonia which affects uh, all age groups especially in extremes in children less than 2 years and uh, adults uh, above 65 years and uh, spreads uh, by droplet infection and it can develop in healthy individuals. The factors uh, predisposing to pneumonia are uh, smoking, alcoholism, people who take steroids for any disease or any other immunosuppressants or any recent influenza infection pre-existing lung disease the HIV infection influenza infection and air pollution where people live in a very much polluted areas also possible like the reasons for developing community acquired pneumonia or people who are working uh, in a <coughs> the organisms which will cause community acquired pneumonia streptococcus pneumonia staphylococcus aureus mycoplasma pneumonia chlamydia cetacei is the organism and legionella pneumonia chlamydia pneumonia and uh, legionella is caused by coxiella burnetti and uh, hemophilus influenza pneumonia the viruses usually that produce uh, community acquired pneumonia cytomegalovirus coronavirus measles herpes zoster, herpes simplex and uh, Middle East uh, Respiratory Syndrome that is uh, where you find uh, this uh, coronavirus producing uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome which has been described in 2000 with the uh, coronavirus and varicella zoster virus to vary all other viruses uh, can produce these are the common viruses which are responsible for developing community acquired pneumonia the lobar pneumonia the clinical features of lobar pneumonia usually acute in onset they have fever with chills rigors and malaise, delirium. If patient is serious, 
the loss of appetite and the headache they have cough shortness of breath mucopurulent and the sputum which is rusty sputum usually suggests streptococcal infection and a pneumococcal infection mostly streptococcal the hemoptysis and the pleuritic chest pain may refer to anterior abdomen in lower lobe pneumonia and infective hepatitis if it is associated so the organisms and type of pneumonia the legionella pneumonia common in contaminated cooling towers in hostels or hospitals industries so then you have staphylococcus aureus common following an influenza staphylococcus aureus which is a very common organism which can produce a community acquired pneumonia following influenza usually the klebsiella pneumonia common in alcoholism and uh, the middle east respiratory syndrome is due to melardosis usually and a similar picture also can uh, develop uh, with the coronary uh, the corona virus infection the fungal pneumonia uh, in a uh, north central and south america the fungal pneumonia are also common which can produce community acquired pneumonia on physical examination of the patient usually the pulse and respiratory rate is usually increased and the blood pressure may be low or high or normal check for the delirium and the chest signs or a dull to percussion and a bronchial breathing and whispering factor like will be present over the pneumonic patch either a lobe or a half lobe whatever it is over the pneumonic patch if you auscultate there will be whispering factor like that is uh, if you put this stethoscope over the lobe uh, affected by infection and how is the patient to say 1 2 3 and then uh, it will be very loudly transmitted to your ears through this stethoscope and they will also have coarse crepitations because of inflammation and accumulation of fluid in the alveoli through which uh, if air passes can give rise to crackles coarse crepitations and uh, the presence of herpes labialis in a patient suffering with uh, pneumonia sh <coughs> should uh, think of a uh, streptococcal infection and also you must assess uh, the nutritional status of the individual and uh, try to treat at uh, supplement uh, nutritional supplements should be given to the individual uh, to enhance the convalescence recovery time so <coughs> usually the differential diagnosis the pulmonary infarction pleural tuberculosis and uh, pulmonary edema pulmonary eosinophilia bronchoalveolar carcinoma cryptogenic organizing pneumonia these are all the differential diagnosis to be considered because sometimes they mimic uh, like that of pneumonia the investigations to confirm the diagnosis how to investigate the patient to assess the severity and identify the development of complications blood full blood count should be done and a very high 
twenty hmm? ten to twenty into ten to the power of nine or low or less than uh, forty into ten to the power of uh, nine per liter is the marker of severity. So the <coughs> neutrophil leukocytosis more than uh, 15 into 10 to the power of 9 suggests uh, bacterial etiology many a times. The hemolytic anemia is a complication of a mycoplasma infection. Urea Urea more than 20 mg per deciliter is a marker of severity. <coughs> Liver function test <coughs> abnormal if pneumonia inflames liver. Hypoalbuminemia is the marker of severity of pneumonia and inflammation of the liver. <coughs> ESR, CRP are non-specifically elevated. For that matter, it elevates in any inflammation. The blood culture, bacteremia marker of severity. The investigations the cold agglutinin present in 50% of patients with mycoplasma. Arterial blood gases <coughs> of less than 93%. The clinical features are severe to assess and ventilatory failure or acidosis patient may develop. The sputum for gram stain antimicrobial sensitivity testing should be done to start appropriate antibiotic. Oropharyngeal swab and PCR for mycoplasma pneumonia <coughs> and other atypical pathogens can be done. Urine examination, pneumococcal and Legionella antigens in pneumonia in urine can be because the antigens that can that are excreted through urine that is pneumococcal and Legionella antigens. Chest x-ray shows lobar pneumonia patchy opacity evolves homogeneous consolidation of affected lobe. Air filled bronchi appears lucent against consolidated lung tissue may be present. The bronchopneumonia patchy segmental shadowing will be present which is, is usually patchy segmental consolidation uh, from different segments of uh, different lobes in chest x-ray suggestive of bronchopneumonia. <coughs> Parapneumonic effusion, intrapulmonary abscess or emphyma and uh, staphylococcus aureus suggesting a uh, multi 
low bar shadowing the cavitation pneumatoseal dvt and pulmonary embolism and uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome renal failure the <coughs> multi organ dysfunction hepatitis myocarditis pericarditis meningoencephalitis and drug hypersensitivity these are all the uh, complications that are encountered in a patient with pneumonia the management uh, you see <coughs> oxygenation all patients of tachypnea hypoxemia hypotension acidosis with the aim of maintaining partial pressure of oxygen or uh, equal to 60 mm of mercury for oxygen saturation pn oxygen saturation is uh, greater than or to 92% high concentrations or more or uh, equal to 35% of humidified oxygen should be used in all patients who do not have <coughs> hypercapnia with the copd pneumonia associated copd will have more morbidity and mortality than simple pneumonia and uh, cpap should be considered that's continuous pressure <coughs> airway positive airway pressure oxygenation should be considered in those who remain hypoxic despite a high concentration of oxygen therapy persisting hypoxia partial pressure of oxygen persisting hypoxia partial pressure of oxygen less than 60 mm of mercury despite high concentrations of oxygen and uh, <coughs> in such a situation you should refer the patient to the I see you. the progressive hypercapnia severe acidosis circulatory shock reduced to conscious level one should think of uh, taking the patient to I see you. IV fluid should be considered in severe illness patients <coughs> anotrophic support patient with the shock can be given prompt antibiotic treatment improves the outcome uncomplicated community acquired pneumonia you can give amoxicillin 500 mg 3 times a day is sufficient for at least 5 to 10 days If allergic to penicillin, erythromycin 500 mg QID should be started. And the staphylococcus, if suspected, fluoxacin, <coughs> fluoxacillin, 1 to 2 grams QID orally, or clarithromycin 500 mg BID. The mycoplasma lichenella. the clarithromycin 500 mg bid orally or iv the erythromycin 500 mg qid rifamycin 600 mg iv bd should be considered 
severe CAP and clarithromycin 500 mg IV PID or erythromycin in 500 mg IV QID should be given in a given individual. The pneumonia in a an immunocompromised host. <coughs> Patients who take immunosuppressants, pulmonary infection is very common with the Pseudomonas erichinosa, with the commonest organism which infects the individual. The patients with the fever, cough, shortness of breath, infiltrates on chest x-ray suggest the diagnosis in immunocompromised host. The onset of symptoms are less rapid patients with opportunistic organisms. Pneumocystis gyrovesi cough, shortness of breath are present several weeks before the onset of systemic infection. <coughs> Chest x-ray and sputum and bronchoalveolar lavage, trans bronchial biopsy of the lung should be done. Third generation cephalosporin, phenolones, plus anti staphylococcal antibiotics or anti pseudomonal penicillin plus aminoglycosides or <coughs> pneumocystis, gyrovesi, cotrimoxazole, pentamidin, clindamycin, primaquin corticosteroid therapy and reduce the mortality in immunocompromised patient with uh, infections. So this is uh, the chest x-ray showing uh, <coughs> chest x-ray showing the mnemonic patch mnemonic patch next this is a case of bronchopneumonia involving patchy pneumonia almost involved 75 to 80 percent of the lung and there is a ground glass appearance then you see chest x-ray with the pneumonic patch on the top and a list curve and a pleural effusion on the left side of uh, the chest. So, <coughs> the treatment usually mostly the treatment of a community acquired pneumonia is if you say the early diagnosis with a small patch that we call it as walking pneumonia and which does not require hospitalization patient can be treated with amoxicillin 500 mg TRD or amoxicillin co-trimoxazole <coughs> trimethoprim combination can be given or clavulanic acid combination mostly the amoxicillin with clavulanic acid combination that is preferred intravenously 1.2 to 2.4 grams intravenously twice a day or orally 400 mg that is 1.2 grams of clo amoxicillin and clavulanic acid twice daily for a period of uh, 5 to 10 days is uh, quite sufficient. This is called walking pneumonia where patient may have mild fever and uh, chest pain. They will not have much dyspnea. 
we can treat the walking pneumonia uh, out in the outpatient basis. Then you have various types of pneumonia. It's a bronchopneumonia where uh, it is more common in patients who aspirate, especially in patients with epilepsy who throw a fit and the stomach contents may be regurgitated into the uh, lungs and they may develop a bronchopneumonia. Or alcoholics who drink, who take a binge of alcohol more than four, five, six pecks to fall down indiscriminately. Uh, <coughs> in a bizarre posture, sometimes they may throw fits. Such people are also are more prone to develop uh, uh, bronchopneumonia because of stomach contents uh, will gain entry into the lungs and they do develop uh, bronchopneumonia or any patient who is unconscious, the stroke patient who are unconscious, uh, may develop regurgitation and uh, aspiration pneumonia or patients with uh, head injury, with uh, diminished or loss of gag reflex, with uh, damage to the ninth, 10th cranial nerve. So these are the set of patients who develop bronchopneumonia. And next is the pneumonia that occurs in these patients are patients who are exposed to industrial fumes like lead spoon fumes or arsenical fumes where they do work in fertilizer companies or uh, uh, in wood come factories where they use uh, arsenic much more and the uh, patient may develop aspiration so this is uh, aspiration pneumonia where you may have to give one or two or sometimes three combination chemotherapy and two or three antibiotics may be required and sometimes bronchodilators needs to be supplemented in these individuals who require a, a treatment and uh, uh, airway patency has to be maintained with the frequent sucking of uh, the mucus and uh, the secretions of the trachea and bronchi and bronchial tree has to be done with care, avoiding aspiration into the trachea and bronchial tree, which is of great help in doing a upper respiratory toilet, what we call it as. And then uh, <coughs> This is about the treatment should be given for two to three weeks and sometimes you may have to extend it to four, five, six weeks depending upon the investigation that you do is a gram stain which will give you the diagnosis and the acid fast bacillus has to be identified if possible if they do have tuberculosis in association with the pneumonia. Next uh, you have uh, fungal pneumonias. Fungal pneumonias which are very very commonly seen as I told you in uh, North, Mid and uh, South America. The pneumonias which are very common. Blastomycosis aspergillosis, mucarmycosis, etc., which are more common. So, <coughs> these are the fungi which can produce lung infections. 
and uh, in patients with uh, who are immunosuppressed having pneumonia which is uh, cavitating usually the cavitating suppurative lung disorders which are more common with uh, staphylococci and klebsiella infections then uh, a pre existing uh, immunosuppressed state or people in a two extremes of life and in such a situation the aspergillus fumigatus usually takes the upper hand and infects the lungs in the form of balls aspergillus fumigatus balls uh, how to be eliminated in those individuals with uh, your bronchoscopic examination and uh, demonstrating uh, the aspergillus in the abscess cavities either with uh, either with uh, tuberculosis or with uh, non specific abscess cavities sometimes may be uh, associated with uh, aspergilloma that has to be uh, <coughs> diagnosed and uh, eliminated you have to take a bal that bronco alveolar aspiration and subject it for microbiological examination and demonstrate the hyphae of aspergillus fumigatus which is of great help in treating the patient with the traconazole amphotericin b various other antifungal drugs can be given for weeks to months depending upon the response to the anti fungal drugs as along with antibiotics and it should be sent for a di biopsy and uh, and demonstration and culture and sensitivity also should be done in these individuals and next is uh, the prevention the prevention of pneumococcus should be done in these individuals by taking all the precautions whoever is infected better do not go near to them whether they are close hmm, you are okay a kit and kin also doesn't matter but uh, try to avoid going to them till they become non infective second thing is in prevention and the cleaning of uh, the throat <coughs> and uh, tracheal toilet by steam inhalation may be of some help with the salt water gargling or gargling with uh, betadine uh, may be of uh, some help to prevent uh, the pneumocystis and uh, the uh, community acquired pneumonia so you know pneumocystis pneumonia usually patients with uh, pneumocystis pneumonia they have uh, uh, the infection which is already existing a few weeks prior to the onset of signs and symptoms like cough fever and chest pain shortness of breath the shortness of breath which is more common and because they have more hypoxia they have less pneumonia more hypoxia they have interstitial pneumonia which is the characteristic of uh, lesion and uh, this uh, this uh, pneumocystis carrying uh, uh, or you call it a girovesi in uh, uh, modern uh, terminology and which is of uh, great help in treating a patient and in these patients it should be treated mostly with uh, erythromycin is the drug of choice or pentamidine Mm, pyrimethamine these are the drugs uh, should uh, should be tried uh, and uh, in a uh, pneumocystis uh, 
zero waste infection which is most commonly seen um, with uh, patients of uh, post transplants who are on immunosuppression so such people should be treated accordingly with uh, antibiotics so and uh, rifamycin also can be tried or uh, the infections with uh, meloidosis can be treated with uh, rifamycin which is very commonly uh, in womb <coughs> and uh, the meloidosis is sensitive to rifamycin which can be tried and uh, try to treat the patient the over correction of infection over treatment is over treatment is better in any infection like bronchiectasis lung abscess or all these infections than under treatment second thing is the complications that develop or infection spreading of infection bacteria pyemia etc joint pains myositis myocarditis pancreatitis and uh, lung abscess lung abscess can be given and uh, can occur in these individuals and uh, in very late stages lung abscess can lead to developing pneumonia focus pneumonia <coughs> is very common in these individuals these are all the complication they can have pericarditis myocarditis pan pancreatitis so which is very common and rarely they may develop even pneumothorax because which is very common with the suppurative lung disorders especially with the uh, uh, staphylococcal or yes infection and the klebsiella infection which is very common which may also lead to a lung abscess bronchopleural fistula and may develop in future with the uh, emphyma thoracis so and uh, they may develop multi organ dysfunction and uh, pleural pain and uh, pleuritis so these are all the complications uh, one should uh, think of and uh, check those infections uh, and treat them properly uh, to save the patient right the uh, today's class uh, ends up with pneumonia next class uh, will uh, स्किप कर दो
If you want to close to send my place out and your activity is steady and trading in power Thank mm-hmm. you. 